Hey guys, JJ here, back with one of the best Resident Evil fan games I have ever played. Today, I have Resident Evil Remix Part 3. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a new Resident Evil fan game that is currently in development by Mr. Curious. As he is developing this game, he is sending me test builds to try out and play so that he can get feedback from you guys. He's then taking that feedback and making improvements, and he will release the game once it's complete. This will be a mod for Resident Evil 4 on PC, and you will need a legit copy in order to play it. I'll leave a link to Mr. Curious down below so you can follow his progress of Resident Evil Remix. And if you guys enjoy this video and would like to see me continue, please leave a like and let me know down below in the comments. I really appreciate it and it helps out the channel. So with that being said, let's get into Resident Evil Remix Part 3. Alright guys, we're going to be picking up right where we left off. I'm with Rebecca. I just got the flamethrower. Here's what I got in my inventory. I organized it a little bit. So we get the two pistols, flamethrower, magnum, and the shotgun. Now, let's leave the mansion and see what's outside. Let's uh, test out the flamethrower. That's sick, dude. It works really well. He added that in here. It wasn't actually a gun in the game. Oh, that's badass. All right, I don't want to use up too much. And you can see too, he uh, he uh, changed out the zombies. Now. Or made them behave a little differently. That's cool, all right. Let's switch the weapon here. We'll go with the uh, Samurai Edge. Some ammo here. Let's just check around real quick to make sure we're not missing anything. Very cool uh, custom area here. All right. An antique elevator. It looks like it hasn't been used in a very long time. Oh, bird. Bat. <laughs> I heard something fluttering behind me. It won't open. It's locked from the other side. With a little help from Rebecca, I just might be able to get in from there. All right. You're up, Rebecca. Thought I seen something. All right, that is really cool because it's areas from Resident Evil 4 that he's he's went through and made them look like they were areas from the original Resident Evil 1, which is awesome. Okay, looks like we're good here. Continue on. You can't leave your teammate behind. Get over here, Rebecca. Come on, let's go. Really cool atmosphere. Oh, dogs. Dome splitter. Come at me, pooch. Anything else? No, we're good. Yeah, there's really cool ambiance here with that storm and the rain. And just how this looks a lot like the Resident Evil 1 sort of courtyard. Really cool. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of attention to detail. <coughs> oh, cool. Chris! Chris! I hate to say it, but we're sandwiched all right. Quick! In that cabin! Dude, 
Good. Got cold feet already? It's Barry. What the hell's going on in this place? I didn't expect to find a place like this. Barry, I heard someone talking. <clears throat> talking to yourself? You alright? Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? We'd better get our priorities straight and get back to our investigation. Can't say it's much safer here, either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. <gasps> Look! Dude, this is so cool. It fits so here. well. Okay. It's game time. <laughs> Badass, dude. Barry and Chris teaming up. Move, Barry. can handle himself, man. I'm just tearing the room. Good. Use this. Quick, get upstairs. Yeah, he's being super helpful. Who's ready for a barbecue? Oh, my inventory is all mismanaged again. Oh, I missed. Watch out, Barry. Here they come. This one broke. This never ends. There we go. Shot me. Oh, sorry, Barry. The one shot I do, and I hit him. He's been super helpful, and I just... Sorry, Barry. I'm a dick. I feel so bad. I owe you one, Chris. I was not trying to kill Barry. I'm Thanks, trying to Chris. help him. Damn it! Are you okay? That's the new animation. Okay, cool. All right, time for crowd control. Oh, please. 
I've tried to help. Seems like he's got this on his own. Here, use this. There you go. Barry did most of the work and I accidentally shot him a couple times. Good job, Barry. Looks like they're backing off. We don't know what's going to happen. The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Let's get out of here. That was really cool, though. A adding Barry into that, swapping out their audio fit really well. Rebecca, where were you? Okay, looks like we're doing all right here. Got a good amount of health, a good amount of weapons. Doing all right. All right, let's get out of here, Rebecca. Search the area. Looks like there's a lot of items laying around. <clears throat> Check in there in a second. Alright, looks like that's it. <coughs> We got a save here, and uh, this new thing. To anyone who has found this recording, this is Forrest from the Bravo team. I'm assuming you've already discovered the previous recordings that I've left for you to find. So far, I've managed to survive some very hostile creatures, many of which seem undead. What's happening is so unreal. I feel like I'm living in a nightmare. Something to note here is that there are numerous doors around this area that require special keys. I've tried to leave some of these keys I found out in open areas or near the doors for other people to find. But after going back, it seems that many of the keys have been misplaced. I backtracked and found one in a crow's nest, so I can only assume that other keys I've left out for you may be snatched up by these crows. Keep your eyes open for any bird's nests in the area, and be sure to shoot them down. I've infiltrated now what looks like to be another mansion. I'll backtrack as much as I can and leave these recordings in hopes of securing some backup. Be careful out there. Dude, that's really cool. Because not only does that mean that we might see Forest Spire, you might actually have a comeback in this fan mod, but that actually also helps. We gotta look out for Crow's Nest. That's where the keys are gonna be. That's really cool. That was a cool addition. I like that. I hope Forest isn't dead in this. Alright, let's save our progress. You use the ink ribbon, and now we are free to save. Save over spot 8. Yeah, I don't think I'm deleting anything there. <coughs> Alright, let's continue on. This this mod, this fan game just gets better and better though. It's like, at first it was just like a, kind of like a remake of Resident Evil 1 in uh, Resident Evil 4's engine, but now it's the actual remix. Like, it's starting to change to newer areas that you didn't have in the original Resident Evil. I'm interested to see what areas we have next, especially because he's taking areas from 4 and he's redoing them. Eerie. 
dog. Oh, there's his friend. Shit. Shit. I'm out. Bad dog. Oops. All right. Reload up. Got to keep an eye out for crow's nest. Oh. It won't budge. It's got to be locked from the other side. See any crow's nest? There we go. All right. So, you get the shield key. Cool. And that's from the other side, so I won't be able to get in there. All right, let's continue on, Rebecca. This now over to the right. See what we got over here. zombies. Alright. We got snakes in the water. That's cool. Get around him. They're coming. Her nest. I might have got a tip for that one was. Alright, let's go down here. Let's uh, go through our inventory real quick. So we're doing good on health. I'm gonna take an egg. Yeah, we're doing all right. See if there's any items. I don't like the sound of that. All right, Rebecca, you should stay here. Hold on. The gate is locked. It seems to be quite sturdy. A dungeon, perhaps? But we got the key. Oh, what's gonna be over here? There he is. Crimson head. All right, let's uh equip the Magnum. 
And there's key over here, okay. All right, we got kind of a tight area. Let's see if we can do this. I love how he adds the crimson heads in and then replaces them like with the uh, with the blind guy with the blades. I can't think of his name right now. We got the key. Let's move. Oh, great. Oh! Brutal, man. Okay. Let's not go that way because we kind of get ourselves into an area where we can't get around him. Let's try that again. Hold on. Okay. We'll play a little better now this time around. There he is. He's going to break out. This thing takes forever to reload, it's coming. Yeah, Doesn't know where he wants to go. Turn oh, that was it! Alright. Not bad, and I didn't even have to shoot this. That was my next option. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, cool. So he's not bad if you don't get pinned in an area where you can't get away from him, like right here. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here, Rebecca. That was cool, though. That was a cool little added feature. that away. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, we got traps in the swamps. That's definitely going to get infected. 100%. Alright, let me heal her up, though. Uh, try to avoid that going forward. There's one. I won't walk into it, but I can't. I can't be sure she won't walk into it. More naked zombies. Isn't this the way we just came? Yeah, we gotta go this way. I gotta turn around. Here we go. Oh! Show! I love how he added the animation now where they bite you. Looks like it was taken from the regenerator. Move, Rebecca. I don't want to stab you. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Move. It's an antique elevator. Looks like it need a key. Well, we have that. Lady of the lift key. <clears throat> you use the lady of the lift key. Cool. Oh man, the waterfall from the original Resident Evil. That's cool. Kick, kick, kick. Oh. We'll look around here a bit. Dead. All right, let's 
check this area. Ooh, uh, what do we got here? Oh, nice. Definitely take the riot gun. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we got this pump action shotgun is effective at long distances, very convenient. It's actually, cause this is a custom added weapon. Let's check this out too. Dude, he really, Mr. Curious, the creator of this, really went above and beyond with a lot of the, the fine details in this. Flamethrower, an anti-personal weapon that sprays a stream of flame. Badass, we gotta use that a little bit more. We're not giving it enough love. All right, here we got, what in God's name? This fountain is spewing blood. That's cool. I just wanna look around, I know there's a lot of items, but I wanna look around at this. Oh, we got the merchant, hell yes. Hell yes. Stranger, you'll have to give me something to pass. Oh, he wants things. That's cool, okay. Nice, nice feature. One of my favorite, my favorite characters in the entire series, the merchant. There is a dam above the waterfall. Activate the dam? Yes. It's a really cool area. There's a lot of detail on this. Like we got crow statues, the merchant, a blood waterfall. That's neat. Reload and let's go, Rebecca. Down into the caves. <clears throat> I hear him. Let's uh, heal up real quick. All right, we can save. Awesome. So far, this feels a lot better balanced, too, than when Mr. Curious first sent over the uh, build. The enemies were very challenging, and I think to a wide audience, it was a little difficult, but um, they've since been balanced out a lot. Uh, this is a lot more um, just, I guess you would say, enjoyable to play. It's not as frustrating. It feels a lot more balanced, like Resident Evil 4 does. Hold on. All right, you stay here, Rebecca. I don't know what's coming up down here. This cave doesn't seem very stable. Ooh. I better be on the lookout. Okay. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, come on, Indiana Jones. Just turn around and punch it, Chris. Ugh. Dude, those always get me. They get me so tense. It's like, I know what to do. I've done it a million times. But, uh... Just always tense. Let's go back and get Rebecca. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. I love the sound effects too. You just get like the crickets and the frogs. And the swamp area and down in the caves. Right, we gotta look out for traps. Music just got a little intense. There's a trap. There's another trap. Please don't go into it, Rebecca. There's a zombie next to me. Let's move a little faster. All right, we look good. Let's start down here. There's a door. Wow, I've just been recently playing Resident Evil 4 for our Road to Village where we played through all the numbered Resident Evil games and we've been streaming that 
And on the side, I've been playing that because Resident Evil 4 is just so goddamn fun to play. And now playing this, it's just like, man, this, this is, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of hype for Resident Evil 4 right now due to the Resident Evil 4 remake rumors. But I don't know, all this talk about Resident Evil 4 potential remake and and going to the, you know, back to the series for our Road to Village, it's just awesome to jump back into Resident Evil 4. And this is like more, more Resident Evil 4. I, I just, I love that this is like its own game built within Resident Evil 4, but it's very reminiscent of the original Resident Evil 1. It's like a really cool mashup. Mm. Make sure we're loaded. Oh, okay, I know what's coming here. You better stay outside. Mendez. Go hide. Yeah. But it's not gonna be Mendez, is it? A lot of webs. A lot of webs. Oh. oh Jesus, I hate spiders. Oh my god. Dude. That thing is terrifying. It reminds me of the uh, Spider-Men from Resident Evil 1.5. They were scrap. Dude, I always thought they were so goddamn creepy. Holy shit. I'd die in real life. Burn that thing. Hasta luego. Hell yeah. Oh Jesus, he just pissed it off. Oh my god, as if it couldn't get worse. It's like a spider scorpion now. Oh, I hate it. Kill it with fire. Come on. Oh, oh it detaches. <coughs> Dude, that's really, really well custom model there. That's really well done. Riot shotgun. Where is it? Oh god! Come on. Damn. Reload. And shoot that barrel, maybe. Heal up. And I think I'm gonna burn it again. Come on. There's a lot of items in here. Alright, good, good. Get him down. Oh, he's back up. I need to use my my magnum, but I gotta reload it. Okay, he's backing up. We're good. Here it comes. Reload. I don't want to shoot that barrel, but I got a good spot right now. Shoot him once he goes down, I can reload. Reload. Oh yeah. Come on. Die. I'm gonna grenade it. That went way further than I was expecting. Shit, it didn't go away. Catch him out. What? No! Oh, no. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, there we go. Man, he didn't want to die. But there's a lot of items in here we can make back up for that. 
took way more hits than I was expecting. Alright, let's get all these items and get out of here. Dude, I hate spiders. And that thing was just... Ugh. Well done, though. Well modeled and well... It, it fit well. Everything so far in this fan game, like, just fits really well. It, it really does feel like its own game. Like, it's a completely new spin on Resident Evil 4. Alright, I think we got... Everything. Almost everything. Let's reload and get the hell out of here. It's probably some... Let me look up real quick just to see if there's anything up here. Yep. Definitely gonna need that. Oh, mag ammo. Good. Reload. Reload. And let's equip the flamethrower. I want to. I want to use that a little bit more because. <clears throat> reload that though. It's a really cool. We only use it once, and it's a really cool uh, added weapon. Were you all right in there? Yeah. Yeah, Rebecca. Just had to kill a massive spider. Oh. Alright, so we just gotta go around this way. Okay. Try to avoid bear traps. Seems like hugging the wall is the best bet. <clears throat> right on it. There we go. Perfect. Oh no, Rebecca! No! Oh god, I can't burn. Rebecca's right there. What the hell? Come on! You're almost as bad as Ashley. You're Rebecca, so a little better. Same AI though. So we got the uh, cat's eye, we can give that to the merchant, we can continue on our way through this labyrinth of chaos. <clears throat> Stranger, you'll have to give me something to pass. <laughs> A fair trade for clear passage. You did a good job mimicking the voice, too. Alright, I wanted to use the flamethrower. Oh, this is really cool. <clears throat> Snakes. Uh oh. Oh no! They got Rebecca! You bastards! <clears throat> Oh god! Had to reload. Alright, flamethrower is badass, but we're going to the dome splitter. I don't want to die. I'm assuming she's gone.
And we got the cabin. All right, the guardhouse. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Dude. We've we've gotten to explore the guardhouse and fix camera angle. We've gotten it sort of in first person with the, uh, I believe it's the Umbrella Chronicles. But we never had it in over the shoulder. So he had to, <clears throat> he had to add all this stuff in. Like that's, that's really cool. What? What is this? Oh my god. What the hell happened here? Ooh, this is really, really cool. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm definitely digging the atmosphere here. Oh, that's, I think that's where I came in. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I just got turned around. All right. Oh my god. That looks so cool. Holy shit. Look at all the little details. I know he has a ton of references in this to um, Twin Peaks. It's a show I never watched, but I really want to. I hear a lot of good things. Oh. That's messed up, dude. I just want to look at this room. That music, too. Wow, I wonder what happened here. That's super cool. This door won't open either. Here we get Ian Cribbin. down here. This definitely also makes me curious. And now I think Resident Evil 1 Remake is Resident Evil Perfection. I myself prefer they don't touch it, but it does make me curious how a Resident Evil 1 Remake would look in the RE engine with over the shoulder like this. Like, I'm definitely interested. I'm not saying do it, but like just kind of checking this out. This atmosphere for a game that came out, you know, Resident Evil 4 came out over 15 years ago, I think. Yeah, it was a little over 14 years ago, 2004. Um, that looked really good. Oh. Get your dome split. Okay, completely new area. Ooh, that's, that's very ominous. Looks like we got some plants to destroy in here. There's a note here in handwriting. It reads, voices from the other side. Very eerie. And a typewriter. We're gonna have to definitely check this room out. Looks like there's a lot of good stuff in here, but let's save. 
Alright guys, we're gonna call it here. Man, this game just continues to impress me. It's it's really well done and like I said, it feels like it's an actual game and not a fan game. Like everything Mr. Curious has done just fits really well and there's a lot of attention to detail. Now I'm curious to know what did you guys think of Resident Evil Remix? Let me know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for Resident Evil Remix Part 4, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. Members. So if you guys would like to become a member and unlock access to custom badges, emojis to use in chat during our live streams, and exclusive live streams, click that join button down below. I'd like to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, G Fuel. If you'd like a healthy alternative to energy drinks that doesn't give you the crash or jitters, I drink it on a daily basis. It's the only way I can work full time, run the road, do vigils, spend time with my family. I, I really recommend it and they have a ton of different flavors link is down in the description use code ro roe at checkout to get a discount as always thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you back at the residence of Easter.